Hello and welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. This is just a quick video just to show you that my watches have arrived from AliExpress that I ordered in the sale. Now there is only four out of the five watches that I talked about in that video. I'll put a link to that video in the corner. Um, there's a reason the fifth one hasn't arrived yet because it's not been ordered but we'll, we'll, we'll get on to that. Um, so I just thought I'd run through these um, in no particular order. So the first one we've got, I believe, is the Shenzi. I showed you the chronograph. Let me just put that out of the way. And here we go. Now look at that crystal bouncing around there. The light on that is fantastic. Right, so this is that's a really weighty watch. This is really nice. I've been looking at this one for a while. I do have one of these already without the chronograph on it. Um, so I kind of knew what I was expecting. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Really pleased. Well, gosh, the weight on that. I didn't realise how uh, heavy that watch was. Let's just check the chronograph works. I'm assuming. Oh, the, the, the crown was out. That's why that wasn't ticking. But I'm guessing that's why that didn't work. Oh, yeah. Bottom subdial's moving there. We're going to stop that. If I reset it, I'm guessing. Oh, doesn't quite reset to the 12, does it? That I don't think. Oh, okay. That might be an issue. Interesting, but really nice watch. I like that bracelet, I must admit. Yeah, very nice. Quite pleased with that. I'll do a full review on that as soon as it arrives. No, not as soon as it arrives, because it's arrived. As soon as I get a chance to. I've got so many watches to uh, review. Uh, they're building up a little bit, so I've got to stop ordering watches, I guess. Now, the next one in here. I can't remember oh, what we got here. Oh, that's all, that's all stuck to that. Get rid of that. So, uh, a warranty card. Oh, the sm small, small. If anybody can tell me how I'm supposed to pronounce that, please do in the comments below. ID card and international warranty. Okay, interesting. Oh, of course, this is the G-Shock lookalike, isn't it? Well, okay, fair enough. Nicely wrapped in some bubble wrap. Uh, Oh, well, look at that. That's very similar to the uh, Timex HQ DGTL that I did not so long back. I know that's why I ordered it, to see well, how how it compared. Oh, it does light up as well. Oh, I didn't realise that was the light up, but oh, it's just useful to know. There's a tough watch for you. Sport watch. Okay, interesting. Um... Yeah, it comes with tags and everything. Fair play to them. Uh, I'm guessing that's the instructions just there. That looks better than I thought it would, actually. I'd even argue that looks nicer than the uh, Timex one, to be fair. Okay. Okay, that's, that's two out of the uh, five. Now, the fifth one... Uh, let, me, let me grab the other box. Oh, here it is. Now, the fifth one I didn't order, which was the Liege watch, uh, which I'll put up. Now, the uh, white-faced watch. The reason being, I've got a couple of Liege watches to uh, review already. And I've got quite a few watches to review. And I'm also talking to one of the stores about sending a watch over. So I decided not to uh, order that one. Um, because it's one of the Liege watch stores that I was talking to. So I may get that one sent over. So we'll see. So Onola. This carries a one year's warranty against any defect. Okay, again, not signed, but I don't think we were really expecting that. Uh, instruction booklet. Yeah, let's get to the watch. Uh, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Well, let's get it the right way around, helps. Do you know what? That looks far better than I thought it would. It's really heavy as well. Quite surprised by that. The weight in it. That's definitely metal of some description. For some reason, I was expecting that to be plastic. Um, okay, interesting. Now, if you like that style of watch, this might be a really good one. I'll be intrigued to see what the loom is on that. I'm guessing just the hands and the and the second hand. Um, okay. Brilliant. Uh, chronograph. Well, that button sticks a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's ticking down the bottom. 
Okay. Okay, well, at least that one goes back to 12, which the other one didn't, I suppose. 12, 24 on there. On the other sub dog. Yeah, really like that. Strap seems okay as well. O N six eight two five, brilliant. Pleased with that. Another one to review. As I say, I've got quite a few to review. Now, finally, this one, which was kind of the star of the show. I got lots of comments on the uh, other video about this particular watch and Bernie, and it, they're a brand that really seems to have a following. And I have spoken to the Bernie official store, and we're looking at just sorting out another watch to come over, a pilot's watch. So, I'll, as soon as I get that in. I'll show you that as well. Now, there we go. Bernie, witness your legend. Oh, they must know me, obviously. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's drop this out of the way. Okay, nicely packaged. Um, what we've got just down the bottom before we get to the watch. Instruction manual. Um, life support. Um, Bernie Watch Official Store. Okay, interesting. Let's put the box out of the way so we can get to the, the good part. Oh. And here we go. Now, if you remember, if you watched the other video, I was torn between the two, the one with the Arabics and one without. Now, I went with the one without Arabics just because I thought it was a bit more distinctive to look at. Um, what was that say there? Sapphire. Ah, right. Now, interestingly, um, on the other video, Brett left a comment just saying that the other one with the Arabics was the only one with sapphire but that does actually say sapphire on the wrap interestingly enough i don't know if you could just see it there. it says sapphire okay let's have a look um turn that bit of wrap off it obviously it's an automatic he says trying to get this off i'm really pleased with this this is a really nice looking watch and as i say lots of people commented about bernie and how good the watch was i saw Gary over on I Like Watches as well had done a review on this. Oh, it's another sticker on top of that. They're definitely stating it's Sapphire. I haven't got uh, a Mose tester. That's something I'm thinking of getting, so I might get one in before I do the review of that, just to double-check if that is Sapphire or not. Now, the new one there, I'm guessing it's just the second hand, which might be a, a bit useless, but anyway. There we go. Nice open case back as well. Anyway, that was it. The four out of the four I was expecting because the fifth one didn't arrive, have all arrived. So these will be reviewed. I have a lot of watches I've got to review that I've got sort of backed up. Uh, I did do a video that was supposed to come out last week, but I paused it right before it launched because I wasn't happy with it. So I've got several videos I've got to shoot. So I'm going to try and get these done and get them out as quick as I can. Um, I'm not sure which one's your favourite. Please let me know in the comments below which one you'd go for, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for dropping by.